This one is the solution of Cambridge A level pure math 3 exam 9709 paper is 31 of winter 2013 question 4. They have given parametric equations which is x equal to this and y equal to this. Show that dy over dx equal to this. So let's uh, differentiate x equation first. So dx over dt will be okay it has two parts both of them have variable t so we can use product rule in this so we will differentiate e to the power minus t first and we won't touch cos plus e to the power minus t remains what it is but cos t will be differentiated so e to the power minus t will be uh, e to the power minus t but multiplied by the differentiation of the exponent which is minus 1. So I'll write minus 1 in front. Okay, cos t. And the differentiation of cos is negative sign. So it will become minus e to the power minus t sine t. Okay, so e to the power minus t rather minus e to the power minus t can be taken common and we are left with cos t plus sine t. Let's do the same thing with the other one dy over dt that's the function so it is e to the power minus t sine t so we'll use the same product rule sine t plus e to the power minus t but sine t is differentiated so it becomes e to the power minus e to the power minus t sine t and this time it will be positive e to the power minus t cos t because differentiation of sine is positive cos that's why it will be positive so e to the power minus t common again but we have sine t and cos t let's write cos t because it's positive so i'll write cos t first and because sine is negative so i will write it later got it so now they are asking us to show that dy over dx is this. So dy over dx is equal to dy over dt multiplied by dt over dx. dy over dt, what did we get? This here, e to the power minus t cos t minus sin t okay multiplied by reciprocal of dx over dt it's dt over dx that's what we want so we'll reciprocate what we had here which will be 1 over minus e to the power minus t cos t plus sine t okay let's try to make them one. Oh, we can cancel this one this and this can be cancelled so we are left with minus 1 here so let's write minus cos t plus sine t yeah this minus will change the signs of these two sine t over cos t plus sine t was already here right so what format do they want let's see tan t minus 104 okay tan that means we have to convert this to tan let's divide each element by cos t and why cos t because sine over cos is 10 and cos over cos is 1 so it will change it minus 1 let's write an explanation cos t over cos t plus sine t over cos t over cos t over cos t plus sine t over cos t all right purpose was to convert it to 10 and convert this to 1 this is cancelled so it will be minus 1 plus 10 t over 1 plus 10 t and now let's look at an identity which is tan a minus b it is in your formula sheet you should verify this tan a minus tan b over 1 plus tan a tan b so if you look at this this minus 1 
can be written as minus tan 1 over 4 pi because the value of tan 1 over 4 pi is 1. So in place of minus 1, I wrote this. And because tan t is positive, let me write before this tan t first because it is positive. So negative later. And here I can write 1 plus and I can multiply this tan t by 1. That does not make any difference, correct? So and that's what I will write here. Tan t multiplied by tan 1 over 4 pi. Again, this 1 is replaced by tan 1 over 4 pi. Why? Because I wanted to get this format tan a minus tan b over 1 plus tan a tan b and this is what it is here. And according to the identity, it will be equal to tan t minus 1 over 4 pi. And this is what they wanted us to show. Look at the question. dy dx is this. We got it.